Did you know that a single bite of your favorite food could be secretly aggravating your arthritis? Stick around because today we're revealing the top culprits causing you pain. Now, let's talk about something we all love, food. But as much as we adore our meals, some foods might be silently declaring war on your joints. If you or a loved one are battling arthritis, you know how excruciating and life-limiting that joint pain can be. Today, we've got an essential list for you. The top seven inflammatory foods you need to avoid to say goodbye to that pain and inflammation. And trust me, number five will absolutely shock you. So grab your notepad and let's dive deep into the world of dietary villains. Guess what? Bet you didn't realize there's a mind-boggling array of over 100 different arthritis varieties dancing out there. Osteoarthritis, or OA, for the cool folks, takes the top spot as the most popular, or should we say infamous, one. But wait, there's more. The lineup also stars troublemakers like rheumatoid arthritis, RA, psoriatic arthritis, PSA, and the ever-so-painful gout. And here's the kicker. Each one of them throws its own little inflammation party in your body. Crazy, right? Dive in with me and let's unveil those troublesome foods you might want to dodge if arthritis is knocking on your door. Number one, processed foods. All right, snackers, gather around. Ever been on a midnight drive through run or reached for that sugary cereal when you're in a rush? Yep, we've all been there. But let's get real. Those ultra-processed delights like that drive through burger morning cereal and those cookies hiding in your pantry have a dark side. These bad boys are usually loaded with refined grains, sneaky sugars, and a cocktail of preservatives and other ingredients that might just throw an inflammation party in your body. And if you're battling arthritis, that's like adding fuel to the fire. Now here's a zinger. Munching on these highly processed foods might not only flare up arthritis, but could also invite its pesky cousin, obesity. And spoiler alert, they're both not the best combo for your health. Hold on to your hats because there's more. In a cool but kind of alarming study of 56 RA warriors, the ones going heavy on the processed goodies showed some worrisome signs for heart health. I'm talking elevated levels of this thing called glycated hemoglobin, HbA1c. It's like the snitch that spills the beans on your long-term blood sugar antics. So, in a nutshell, those processed temptations... They're not just messing with your joints. They might be playing games with your overall health game plan. Time to rethink that snack attack. Number two, salty foods. Hey, salt shakers, let's spill the tea on sodium. We all have that salty craving, right? Whether it's from some scrumptious shrimp, that cheesy slice of pizza, or even that sneaky canned soup. But here's the plot twist. For our arthritis friends, too much salt might be a no-no. Now imagine this. In 2019, some scientists decided to see what happens when they fed mice a diet that's basically a salt party. And surprise, surprise, the mice on the salt fiesta had a tougher time with arthritis than their less salty counterparts. Zooming in on us humans, it turns out that overdosing on salt might just rev up those pesky immunological processes that shout, hello inflammation. And just when you thought it couldn't get more intriguing, Flash back to 2015, where a massive study on 18,555 folks dropped a bombshell. Those sprinkling their food with loads of salt had a higher risk of getting hit with RA. So, next time you reach for that salt shaker, maybe give it a second thought. Number three, gluten foods. All right, bread lovers, let's dive into the gluten gossip. You've heard of gluten, right? that sticky stuff in your favorite pastries, breads, and cereals. It's like the glue holding all those tasty wheat, barley, and rye treats together. But here's where things get a tad crunchy. There's chatter that gluten might be sending secret inflammatory invites throughout our body. Now let's connect some dots. Ever heard of celiac disease? Folks with this condition seriously can't jive with gluten. And guess what? They've got a higher dance card with RA compared to those who can chow down gluten without a hiccup. But wait, there's a twist. Some early bird research is hinting that ditching gluten and going vegan might just turn down the heat on inflammation and disease activity. Now, before you break up with your beloved bread or renounce rye, remember, the gluten arthritis tango is still being figured out. So, while the jury's still out, keep an ear to the ground and maybe consult with your doctor to see if going gluten-free is right for you. Number four, added sugars. Let's keep it real. 
We all have that little sugar monster inside, craving that candy bar, sipping on soda, or dreaming about a scoop or three of ice cream. But did you know, some of your favorite sweet treats and even those sneakier ones like barbecue sauce, your go-to salad dressing, or even that trusty ketchup might be loaded with added sugars. Now here's the juicy scoop. In a study of 217 arthritis warriors, when faced with 20 tempting foods, guess which culprits got the side eye? Yep, those sugar-packed sodas and decadent desserts. Many participants felt like these sugary sensations cranked up their arthritis ache. So, next time you're about to dive into a sugary delight, maybe hit pause and think, is this treat worth the tweak in my joints? Number five, high age foods. Ever heard of ages? No, not the number kind. Let's journey into the fascinating world of advanced glycation end products or ages. Think of them as these sneaky molecules that form when sugars get all cozy with proteins or fats. And guess what? While they're naturally chilling in uncooked animal foods, some cooking methods can turn them into overdrive. Now wanna hear the sizzling list of age hotspots? Brace yourself. That crispy bacon you love, yep. A juicy grilled steak, uh-huh. Fried chicken or those drool-worthy fries, bingo. Even the unsuspecting American cheese, margarine, and your sandwich's BFF mayo are in on it. Here's where things get spicy. When these ages throw a major party in your body, they can kickstart oxidative stress and inflammation. And that's bad news for anyone, especially our friends with arthritis. In fact, folks with inflammatory conditions like RA might be rocking higher age levels than the lucky ones without. Ever wonder if those sore joints and bones could be thanks to a surprise guest named Age? They could be playing a sneaky part in the arthritis drama, but good news, there's a delicious escape route. By swapping out those age-packed goodies with vibrant veggies, fresh fruits, lovely legumes, and fabulous fish, you might just kick those ages to the curb. Number six, certain vegetable oils. Buckle up. Let's dive deep into the world of omega fats, the stars of many modern diets. Ever felt that knee pain twinge? Especially for our OA and RA buddies, those aches might be influenced by a tango between omega-6 and omega-3 fats. Picture this. Omega-3 is that cool friend from nature hanging out in yummy spots like oily fish, seeds, and those crisp green veggies. Omega-6, on the other hand, it's more the city type, found in stuff like margarines, vegetable shortening, and some of those go-to cooking oils like corn and safflower. Here's the juicy bit. Both these fats are super essential for our health. But if they're out of balance, it's like a seesaw that's tipped over. It might spark an inflammation fiesta, but wait, there's hope. Balancing these oil buddies might be the secret sauce to soothing those arthritis woes. Chef's tip for the day, make olive oil your kitchen BFF. Why? It's all chill with low omega-6 levels. And maybe toss in more fatty fish to your menu. It's like the yin to omega-6's yang. Number seven, processed meats and red meat. All right, meat lovers, let's talk steak and sausages. You know, there's some intriguing chit-chat in the research world linking that juicy steak and your favorite processed meats to increased inflammation. Not great news for our arthritis friends. So picture this. When you're indulging in that pepperoni pizza or burger, you might be inviting unwanted guests like interleukin-6, IL-6, C-reactive protein, CRP, and homocysteine. Sounds fancy, huh? But trust me, they're not the kind of party crashers you want. They're all inflammatory markers. Oh, and speaking of research, there's this study of 217 arthritis champions where many said, hey, red meat ain't doing my joints any favors. Flash forward to 2019, where some researchers concluded that waving goodbye to red meat in favor of a plant-based menu might just give arthritis the boot. Now it's your turn. Are there any foods you've cut out that made a difference in your arthritis journey? Or maybe you have some joint-friendly recipes up your sleeve. Share your thoughts and tasty tips in the comments below. And hey, if this video sprinkled a little knowledge on your plate, give it a big thumbs up. See you in the next video.